What is going on everybody, this is John here of Continue YouTube and welcome to the third update video of Sigma Protocol, a game which I'm currently developing. Okay guys, uh, before we get started, um, I just want to apologize that I didn't upload a video uh, one week ago. Um, because I promised that I would do a video every every two weeks or weekly. No, I did not promise that. I said that I would try to do that. Well, okay. Um, so I had a lot of issues. Um, the first issue was that I recorded a video um, in that period, actually, so in that two-week period. Um, but unfortunately, um, well, my recording software did not work. It was just a black screen, and I was talking, so the voiceover works, but not the actual... Uh, I don't know, image processing or whatever you want to call it. And that was... <laughs> I couldn't have uploaded that, of course. Right. So, then I decided to do it one more time. Like, I don't know, the next day or so. And I did it again. And it did not work again. So, I'm now at, like, my fifth attempt at creating this video, I think. Ah, that's great. Hopefully it's going to work now. And then the second issue was that I had major, major problems with my back. I actually tweeted that out yesterday or so. And I'm really sorry, guys, but I couldn't even move anymore, and now I need physiotherapy? Wow. Wow. Really? Man, I'm not that fucking old, man. So now I need physiotherapy. Great. Great. Totally great. Forty times. Oh, God. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, I couldn't couldn't even move anymore, and uh, now I'm starting to feel better. It's slowly getting better, but I cannot sit at the computer for too long, so I cannot work very intensively in the game, unfortunately. I'm going to try my best to do this update video, then, I don't know, take a break, and then I will try my best to edit it and upload it, then, and hopefully that's going to go well. Okay, guys, so without any further ado, let's get into this update video, guys. So as you can see, it's the game paused, and I have now actually created a build of this game. I'm, I, I really, maybe I do want to put up a, like, a playable demo so you guys can take a look at the game, maybe you can play it on your computer, I'm thinking about that, but at its current stage I don't think that would be a good idea. Now I do want to say that this is two weeks of work on the game, this is not the extra three weeks that it took me to upload the video, okay? Um, well, ugh, so there are a lot of systems which I would have liked to improve a little bit and would have liked to fix as well, but that did not happen, obviously, and you're going to see that in a second, but okay, let's, let's just get started with this update video. So as you can see, the first big thing you're going to see is this building, and the next big thing you're going to see is on the top right-hand corner, you're going to see that I actually have, like, a health status thingy, a health icon, a food icon, or a hunger icon, a thirst icon, and those systems are now fully working. I sped them up a little bit. Uh, just to make sure that you guys can actually see what's going to happen if I don't drink and things like that. And yeah, that's pretty great. Now the next thing you will see is that I actually have an inventory with only four slots right now. And also another button which is, you know, just to craft items. Um, oh, and you can see in the drop right hand corner now that has changed. So now it's yellow, that means I am thirsty. Now again, um, this is sped up so it is of course not going to be like that. Now I picked something up and as you can see I moved the text in the bottom left hand corner a little bit. And now you can see that's the new item you can find. This is a canteen and you will be able to fill that with water you will be able to find in the world. Um, I've started to work on basic multiplayer and also on some of the terrain stuff. And I'm not really far with her so I can't show it. But yeah, that's it and you can right click that. And you can drink it as you can see. And it takes a little bit of time until food is digested and yeah, therefore it's going to take a little while until it turns green again. But yeah, now that's gone and yeah, that's pretty nice. Because I can still pick up all these things as you can see and they are will be added to my inventory as you can see here. So that's no problem, but I only have four slots. I talked about this before, that this is dynamic. Now, this is the building, this is also, this is randomly generated, so not the building itself, but the position of it. And right now, I am basically rebuilding the entire spawn system, okay? The random spawn system, because I wasn't quite happy um, with how the <gasps> old spawn system turned out. So, I'm going to recreate it. Oh, I'm actually right, right now, I'm uh, in the process of recreating it. That's a lot of work, obviously. Um, this is still the old spawn system, and you're going to see a lot of bugs with it, which I hopefully will be able to <gasps> get rid of uh, once I'm f well, once I finish the uh, new spawn system. 
But yeah, this is the old building which I showcased in the first ever update video of Sigma Protocol. That's great, right? Oh, the fields. That was like 10 months ago. But yeah, you can move around freely. And you're going to see right away, well, we have um, some ammo here. And those are two different types of ammo because I actually added a new weapon. Now, I don't know if it's going to spawn here. Yeah, well, there's one weapon. And I can't showcase the other one, which is a shame, okay? So I... Yeah. The new weapon is the MP5. I would have loved to showcase that, but apparently it did not spawn. Now, it could do the entire video again. Maybe I will cut one video, like, to the end of the video just to showcase the MP4 a little bit. But yeah. But yeah, you will see that now this entire building has bullet collision. So that means that you can actually see the bullet impact. Which is quite nice. That wasn't there before. And here we go. So this is the loot which will spawn. Now this is just one place for the loot. Then there's another place. And I've basically set up a, uh, some spawn areas for those. So you can pick this up, for example. Now let me try to find a backpacker. Oh, here we go. So that at least that spawns. So as you can see, this is the backpack you can pick up. Now at, at the moment it's not textured. But I will do that pretty soon. Now you can pick it up like so and now you will see that you have a lot more inventory slots now and there are things that should spawn here but apparently there's nothing here that's spawned okay so here's another spawn point where loot can spawn well wow, it's very very unlikely that there's no food okay well so you can right click this to eat it and that's a different sound so each item has a different sound when you use it which is kind of obvious uh, pick up something. Of course the drink is like always the same sound, but you get the power up. Uh, so pick up some stuff. And yeah, so that is the loot spawning system. Again, I'm currently rebuilding the entire spawn system, so that's going to take a little while. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite cool. I really like it. So that is the stuff that is currently working. As you can see, I have all these things in my inventory right now. If I click on build, you will see that I have a back button now to navigate back, but I also have a system where I can hover over these things and I can see how many items I need to build it. And I'm going to add an image as well, or a little icon, to to basically uh, show the player what, he's got, what he can build with this. So, what the campfire will look like. It fits your uh, uh, aesthetics. I don't know. <laughs> you can decide that. Uh, okay, so let me pick up some of the resources. Now, the weapons won't spawn on the ground anymore because that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It makes much more sense that they are in a building or maybe in a shack or something. So it will have, like, it won't have nonsensical spawn locations. It will have, like, spawn locations where you would technically put uh, something that you want to spawn. Alright, so, that uh, you want to spawn that you want, like, <laughs> You get the concept, okay? Let's say you have a weapon shack, and of course they're going to be weapons and not freaking, I don't know, camp beats or something. But yeah, so I have a, this squash soda. I don't know if it was there before. I think it was. Could be. No, I think it wasn't. And I think the apple was there, yeah. But you. Uh, well, I could be wrong. Never mind. Okay, but I have this new can beat stuff. That is quite nice. And I actually updated the campfire a little bit, so. Let me show you what's going on with that. Uh, let me see how much do I need. Okay, I have five out of five sticks. You're going to see that I have five out of five. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Wanted to showcase uh, the system a little bit more, but I need another stick to do that <laughs> because I struggle with this. I didn't know what I wanted to do. So as you can see, I have six sticks now, and if I hover over this, it says five out of five because that's just the requirement of this. I didn't know if I wanted to have a system where you can basically see, like, okay, I have six out of five sticks, so I could technically create something else, yeah. That could have been something that not a lot of people would have liked, I think. So, I kind of left that out. Now, I could re out that, of course, but I think I won't do that. Now, let me see how much more do I need. Oh, I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to build this. Camp... What? The actual pink fuck. Okay, huh. So that's great. Um, so as you can see, we have this campfire, and the texture is missing for some reason. So I need to re-add that texture. <gasps> Sorry, that's nothing that's supposed to be here. But you can see right here that no, don't like it spawns on the ground, so you can actually place a campfire up here. No problem. Um, okay, well it's a little buggy, but you get the concept. So yeah, that's quite nice. Now I'm gonna put it. I don't know, right here. Okay, so that texture's there. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, as you can see, the campfire's working. And now you're going to see, well, we have a press E to interact.
Well, that's cool, right? Now I can interact with this campfire. I have two options here. I can ignite the campfire, and I can also cook something. Now, the cook cooking system isn't wor isn't working yet, uh, but I'm currently working on this now. I don't know when I will be able to finish it. So right now, I just want to drop this entire policy of like weekly updates or updates every two weeks. I will make an update video once I am very happy with what I have achieved of that particular time span, I guess you could say. Um, and then I'm going to make an update video and then I'm going to show you what I've been working on, okay? So it won't be like, okay, I have to do an update video every week. It's not going to be like I'm going to do an update video every three months or so. No, it's not going to be like that. And if you want to um, ha receive any f yeah, additional updates, then you can follow me on Twitter and I will post my updates there regularly. And then in the end I will, of course, put it all together in a video and upload it on my channel. So that's the new way of getting these updates out there. Um, yeah, so now let me ignite the campfire. That is working. Isn't it great? Okay, you can hear this beautiful campfire sound. And those particles are working. I'm going to work a little bit more on these particles because they aren't that great right now. But yeah, this is kind of the basic system and of course you can extinguish the campfire as well. Here we go. So this is the campfire system right now. Of course, collision as well. Which is nice, so as you can see, bullet holes work. Which is good. I really do think so. Alright, so now let's find the NPC. Oh, here he is, okay. Oh, okay, I'm getting low on food and on something. Oh. How much do I have of this? One apple, one something, oh, three. I have three of this. Okay, that's good. So I think I will eat. I will drink something. Okay, perfect. Now that's not perfect. As I said, okay, so this is not very realistic right now. Um, this is just to showcase the system. Oh, let me move this over. Well, I don't have to, but I can. <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. Alright, so now I can talk to him. And now we have this new system called Trading System, or Trade Item System, whatever you want to call it. And you can now trade items. And at the moment he just has a stone that's not very likely, of course. I mean, why would you approach an NPC and buy a stone from him? Nah. Well, <laughs> no way. But yeah, you can basically trade items because I thought it wouldn't make any sense to have a currency in a post-apocalyptic world. That, no, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, maybe after, I don't know, 20 years, a new uh, currency will establish, but I don't think so. It's very, very unlikely. So, what I did instead is I have this new trading system, and it's basically each item has a certain value. You can guess that value. I mean, food is of course very valuable, whereas a stone, of course, is not. That just makes sense, right? So, you won't actually see the actual item value, because that's kind of what's going on in the background uh, with my code and stuff like that. Um, but you can kind of guess how much it's worth. So, what I really encourage with this is this kind of desperation thing. Because, let's say you have I don't know. You you have a really really rare artifact you find in an abandoned building like this one. I don't know. Of course, the world is going to be very very big, and there are going to be a lot of people, so it's going to be quite hard to discover this. And then you have this artifact, and you are currently in a survivor time because, of course, this NPC is going to be in a town or somewhere, and you will be able to have quests there and receive quests there, and of course, you know, get uh, um, a reward for that and things like that. Um, the thing is, you are approaching that town, and you go into that town, and you find this NPC guy, okay? And you're really, really low on food, okay? So you are very desperate, you need food, and you only have, as a valuable item, you only have this really rare artifact. And you know that you would get a lot more for this artifact if you went over to another town and, you know, just sold it or traded it there. Then you would have... Get, I don't know, something incredibly cool. I don't know, like really, really cool weapons or something like that. And that really encouraged the player to like be desperate, like, oh my god, I need this food, I'm going to starve if I, or do I want to risk it? Do I want to risk going over to the other town, or do I really need the food now? So that's kind of what's going on. So now I'm going to trade this for stone, and this is how the menu looks like. Now, as I said, this is like a pre-alpha thing, and I, not only the game is in pre-alpha, but also some of the systems are in pre-alpha. So maybe this uh, eat system, on the, that's in better because it works right now, okay? And this inventory system, it works as well. It's still better because some features of it aren't working, but it's stable right now. So it, it, it's working the way it's supposed to right now. So that's kind of the thing. And this is still in pre-alpha, okay? It's not even alpha because the GUI elements are not 
positioned correctly and all these things aren't working yet but what's the system is going to be like I just wanted to showcase what the system is going to be like so you can click one of these items and the arrow is not positioned correctly as well either so yeah you can move this over then you can click this and you can see that you could move this over and then you could trade it now I'm going to move it back and then you could move it over this apple can move it back and this is kind of the system that I'm going to implement now let me just move this over and then you can click accept trade and it's going to say okay sorry I do not have any items right now which is not the thing it should usually be and now as you can see it removed something from my inventory for some reason but not the apple pre-alpha as I said but this is going to be how the system is going to work now I'm going to drink and eat something and uh, yeah the, this system is very very aggressive right now and the health system is working the same way, so it's going to turn yellow and it's going to turn red, and you're about to die. Um, uh, yeah, okay. And also, like the last little gray square you have there, at the very right, um, this is going to be for the temperature, okay? So you're going to have, if you have a really high temperature, it's going to be red, or if you have a really low temperature, it's going to be red. So let's say, um, if at any time the temperature is really at a dangerous level it's gonna go to it's gonna turn red so yeah that's kind of the system right now guys I hope you enjoyed this video this is what I have so far it's not really that much I know that but it's at least something so guys thank you very very much for watching this video everyone um, and I'm going to post the fourth update video in I don't know some time I don't know when yet but yeah so yeah guys Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support me, guys, then you can like this video because, well, it really provides a little bit of feedback. You can, of course, leave comments and leave suggestions and all that stuff. You can follow me on Twitter to receive regular updates and all of that, guys. So, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Thank you for your continued support. Also, thank you so much for 7,000 subscribers. This is absolutely amazing and crazy. <gasps> I can't believe what you guys have done for me over the past two, three <gasps> years. Or so, you guys are, like, really the best. Thank you so much. And i see you in another video. Of course, I'm going to start some new series pretty soon as well. Once my back is fixed, um, I'm going to start a lot more things. Now, of course, this will be before, like, the 40 uh, physiotherapies. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, thank you again. Sorry for all, all that weird talk, but, yeah. i see ya. Bye.